Hello, today we're going to look at solving a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, but we're going to use a specific technique today. Uh, we're going to be solving these triangles using ratios and proportions based off of similar triangles. Uh, there are definitely other ways of doing this. Um, this is just one particular technique. Maybe it's new for you, so check it out. First, we're going to start uh, developing the rule for the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're going to start with a regular triangle. And a regular doesn't mean just an average triangle. It means a triangle that is both all the angles are equal, equal angular, and all the sides are equal, equal lateral. So we've got a 60, 60, 60 triangle. We're going to draw the height of that triangle in, which of course creates a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And you can see it cuts it right in half, and I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So that's kind of the premise of where we're starting. Uh, let's take that triangle now, and let's call the short side x. Notice I'm really just focused in on my 30, 60, 90 triangle. I'm going to call that side x. Well, that's going to allow us to talk about the hypotenuse. Remember, if this piece is x, then this piece over here is also x. And since the original triangle was equilateral, that means this hypotenuse is two x's. So now in my 30, 60, 90 triangle, I know one side is x. I know the long side, the hypotenuse, is twice that, 2x. From there, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve and find out that the long side must be the square root of 3. Now, knowing that, this is the ratios that we have. We know that if this piece down here in the bottom across from the 30 is x, then this hypotenuse must be twice that, and this height must be the square root of 3 times that. Let's get rid of those x's and just focus in on the ratios, and let's memorize the 1, the 2, and the square root of 3. The 1, the 2, and the square root of 3. Now, how do we know this? How, let's put that to use. I've got three basic examples we can use. Here's example one. If I happen to know the shortest leg, that's the leg across from the 30s, the shortest leg. Well, I do know that it is similar to my 30, 60, 90 triangle. These are similar. So I'm just going to set up proportions. The sides are proportional. So the 5 is going to match the 1 just like the b is going to match the square root of 3. From there, I'll cross multiply. You see that 1b is 5 radical 3, which of course really just means that 5 radical 3. And that's one of my sides. Now, if I chose, I could use the Pythagorean theorem here now to solve for the third side, but I'm just going to use the ratios again and go through another set of proportions. The 5 matches the 1, just like the C, hypotenuse matches the 2. Again, cross-multiplying gives me that C has to be 10. Here's another typical example. This time, they've given you the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is 24 in this case. Again, I'm going to recognize that I have similar triangles, which means the sides are proportional. So my hypotenuse, 24, is going to match the hypotenuse, 2, just like the j is going to match the square root of 3. Cross multiplying, I see that 2j's are 24 square root of 3, and dividing, I know that j is 12 radical 3. Similar proportions can help me find k. Again, the 24 matches the 2, just like the k matches the 1. Cross multiply and divide and see it's 12. The last situation you run across with a 3069 triangle is when they've given you the longest side. That's the side across from the 60. Notice it's across from the 60 degrees here. Some people consider this the most difficult part, but really with proportions it ends up being the same. I recognize I'm going to be proportional, so I'm going to match my sides. My 9 
is going to match the square root of 3, just like my C would match my 1. Cross multiply and divide, and you realize that C is approximately 5.2. Similar proportions can help you find side D. The 9 matches the square root of 3, just like D, the hypotenuse, matches the 2 hypotenuse. Cross multiply and divide, and D is approximately 10.4. Now if this were a word problem, I would probably stop here, but if I've got algebra or trig and I need to use simplest radical form, I would need to rationalize these two denominators. Over here, that would be multiplied by radical 3 over radical 3, which gives me 9 radical 3, which is really 3 radical 3. And on this side, multiply by square root 3 over square root 3 to give me 18 square root 3 over 3, which is really 6 radical 3. So those are the appropriate answers for an algebra or a trigonometry problem. It just depends on the situation. Again, I recognize there are other ways of solving a 30-60-90 triangle, but this technique uses proportions. It's fairly straightforward and pretty consistent.